guest is an amazing bartender. We have her here today. Her name is Jessie Pollack. She is an artist and one of the best in the country and at her profession. She's also bar manager at Spoon and Stable and she's one of 10 finalists for Bartender of the Year Award from Tales of the Cocktail Foundation. Congratulations, Jessie. That's so amazing. It's so wonderful to have you. Thank you so bartender much. Bartender of the Year, that is not to be messed with. That's quite the title. <laughs> So we are grateful to have you here on a weekend because, of course, summer weekends, we think a little bit about the spirits and beverages we might want to consume in moderation, and you are the expert to fill us in. So first of all, maybe tell us, how are you feeling about the awards? Oh, I'm so excited. Thanks yeah. for having me here. Yeah, it's such an honor to be named as one of the top 10 bartenders in the country. It's exciting and it's cool to kind of put Minneapolis in the spotlight for a moment when it comes to making great beverages. And Spoon and Stable is such a fabulous restaurant too. So it doesn't surprise me in the least that they are wonderful from beginning, middle to end over the course of what they serve there. So thank you for that as well. All right, so what are we looking at in terms of some of your signature cocktails and what you put into it as well as what you do to mix it and make it such a, a piece of art? Yeah, well, what we do at Spoon and Stable in that bar program is we like to take classic cocktails that are mm -hmm. kind of well known and then put our original take on them. So um, making them a little more unique and fitted to, to our program specifically and to some seasonality. Thank you so much. Grab an ice cube here. Awesome. And the first cocktail I'm going to make for you is known as a Oaxacan. And a Oaxacan is just a mezcal old fashioned traditionally. Mm -hmm. But again, I like to put my own little spin on it. So yeah. for this one, I'm using a peach demerara syrup. So Interesting. infuse some peach tea into a sugar syrup. Wow. And then a little bit of peach liqueur as well and some Amaro. And then Amaro is going to add some spices, some complexity and really make this a complex and nuanced cocktail. That sounds delicious. Now, these are ingredients that are hard to get for the average uh, attempted amateur bartender at home. Is that true? Or no. would you say that you can go to the liquor store and find these items and actually assemble this <laughs> on your own? Well, I like a little job security, but yeah. anything you think is a little <laughs> difficult to make. No, no, actually, I love making cocktails that are simple and are approachable. They're things right. that people can make at home. I'm always happy to share recipes, too, right. as far as, you know, making these things because cocktails should be accessible and delicious for everyone. So. I love though that you are constantly looking to create new mixes and that sort of thing. That's really, <laughs> the, again, the artistry at play and why you're one of the 10 best bartenders in the country. Okay, so that's the Oaxacan. Yeah, and so I'm gonna stir this up and serve it here. Stir it up, okay. Mm -hmm. Ben is here. He might take a sip for us. He might take a sip for us if you'd like to have a little stirring option. <laughs> and so that is so exciting. How many times are these signature drinks? I mean, people really like the traditional drinks that they know what to expect even if you have your special flair on it versus the new and different how much are you serving the traditional drinks would you say you know, we do a mix we have a really popular menu at spoon and stable mm -hmm. um, we have eight cocktails that are on the menu each day plus a daily cocktail that the bar team creates each uh -huh. day something new and unique mm -hmm. and we really serve a mix of classics and then our twists on them okay. I like to do twists on classics because it does kind of give people Option. the option to you know have something that's a little uh more familiar but yeah. also might have an unexpected twist on it i love it okay as we're handing that off to ben can mm -hmm. we move on to the next one because there are other drinks i know up your sleeve that we would love to see as ben, well okay ben is like oh you. twist my arm let me have this <laughs> delicious drink on this saturday morning all right so the next drink that we're looking at what is this one called you know, this is one of my favorite things and that this is a non-alcoholic tonic yeah. And I love making non-alcoholic cocktails for you. Yeah. that are still really delicious, really balanced, and are, are beautiful as well. Because just because you're not imbibing in alcohol does not mean that you shouldn't get a beautiful, delicious, and yeah. well-balanced cocktail. I love that so much. And so what are the elements of this particular so non-alcoholic drink? Just added a little bit of lime juice and then a tonic that we make at Spoon and & Stable, and we make a seasonal tonic. This one, we actually juice fresh watermelons oh, and then wonderful. cook those watermelons with spices, with citrus peels, 
uh, we've got some mint, lemon, verbena, oh my goodness. and herbs and botanicals, and a little gentian to give it some bitterness. Okay, you had me at all of this, so <laughs> I'm gonna sample that one awesome. as you go ahead and show us the final option for Absolutely. folks. Okay, this looks so good and refreshing, well, thank you. Cocktail for you. Okay, so and the final option. And then our next option. one is a gimlet variation. Ooh. And a gimlet traditionally would just be, you know, some lime juice, some sugar syrup, and some gin, but of course we're gonna make it a little more complicated than that using lime juice and then a mixed citrus oleo. This is actually one of the ways we try to be a, a little uh, more sustainable and conscientious in my bar program by using some of our citrus scrap and yeah. reincorporating it into our ingredients Yeah. so that we're not wasting anything. I love this. Jesse. you're so good at it. And it's also really entertaining to watch you put it together. <laughs> so I bet you some of your customers want to say, I want to see every element being added because it's so delicious. And by the way, this is actually really excellent. How has yours been? Oh, it's terrific. It's terrific, Absolutely. yeah. Glad to hear it. Do you see like, the, uh, the non-alcoholic, is it becoming more trendy? more popular in recent years? It really is, and yeah. it's exciting to see. It's exciting to see less stigma around going into a bar and ordering right. a non-alcoholic cocktail. Right. We see a lot more guests ordering a mix now than they used to, mm -hmm. so instead of just you're not drinking or you are drinking, it's more of a mix where it's some people smart. Yeah. switch to a non-alcoholic cocktail in the middle. Yeah, it's smart, it's safe, it's healthy, it's, it's all shake. those good things. Thanks exactly. so much, Jesse. Well, we certainly wish you good luck and the awards. I love the shaking. Thank you so much. You can find Jesse once again at Spoon and Stable downtown Minneapolis. You can easily take her cocktail class on their website mm -hmm. at that all that information again at Link, along with her recipes is on care11.com and we will be right back.